Well, you may not know it, but today was a very important day, particularly for left-handers, being International Left-Handers Day. What does that mean? Well, somebody who probably knows is Alison Harris, the director of Elite Left. It's good to see you. Good evening to you. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. Now, me being a left-handed, you being a left-handed person as well, we yeah. have had troubles in the past. So from your experience, what made you decide to create this company in the first place? Was there a catalyst? Uh, well, I'm obviously I'm left-handed and I've always had uh, struggled with right-handed goods. So I just thought, well, why not start selling left-handed goods once my children had grown up? I just thought I just needed something else to focus on, something that um, I could work towards. So, yeah, I just decided to start selling left-handed goods. And, and no one I know, was doing it at the time, so. <laughs> yeah, and I know you found a decent void in the marketplace. When you were researching the products that are available to left-handed people, was there anything that perhaps surprised you along the journey? Um, probably not so much what people have asked me for. Like, I have sold things like rulers and things like that that I wasn't sure whether people would find interesting. But, like, for instance, my rulers... Uh, um, go from naught to uh, 30 centimetres just the opposite way around to a right-handed ruler and I guess that sort of stuff I have found like people find really useful yeah so <laughs> now we can have a, a personal discussion about the troubles of being a left-handed person I don't know whether this is um necessarily something that left-handed people subscribe to but I know when I write um, my my zeros my o's my p's I often get um, mocked by my friends because they say I write them the wrong way or upside down I'm wondering if I'm wondering if I'm using my left-handed brain or something like that but there is what 10 percent of people are left-handed so there are more right-handed people in the world than left-handed people is that right that is correct but obviously I've got quite a lot of different pens here that can help with people who are left-handed and it can help prevent you smudging. So rollerball pens are so much better for left-handers. And if you write upside down like I do, which is that way around, um, this, this sort of pen is just much easier to write with. Um, these two are also really ergonomic for left-handed use. So you just they're just shaped differently which means that they are just shaped for left-handed use and so much easier to use, especially if uh, if you've got trouble like arthritis or something like that. Um, using ergonomic products for left-handers is so much better for your hand and your wrist than using a right-handed product. It's just much easier to use and, yeah, it just feels much more comfortable. You, feel, you don't get the muscle strain and fatigue that you would get with right-handed goods. Just Just much easier for your hands, basically. Alison, I don't know whether I'm using this as an excuse, but I often um, feel like when I do write with my handwriting, my printing, if you like, it is so bad now. I don't know if that's probably because I'm using too much of this and my cell phones, or whether or not it's just because I'm, I've become so lazy, I don't tend to, to, to write as much. But when I do write, and left-handers, you'll know this problem, it is that smudging thing, isn't it? So those pens you've got there, how do they, how do they stop you from smudging? Is it because they're, they're more indented towards the bottom, is it? Uh, yeah, well, they're quick drying as well. Obviously, if you use, say, for instance, with birthday cards, you're still going to smudge because that smooth, shiny paper is always going to have smudging. But I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't get away from that, unfortunately, because the paper is the paper itself that's too that's too shiny. But for for other paper, like this pen in particular, is is quick drying. And it just helps with with that smudging. So, and it because it's ergonomically designed, it helps with handwriting as well. It's very good for children who are learning to handwrite. Just while we're on the subject of children as well, I sell things like this, which helps hand. It's a handy writer, and it helps children, young children, uh, it's probably before the age of six or seven, just to correct correct how they write. Um, it's too late for me because I do write upside down, but if you've got any children that write upside down, this sort of thing really helps them correct how they write. What are you finding the, your most popular products to be? Uh, well, I have a few. I've got those pens and I've got Fisker's scissors, which are really handy. And then um, for the kitchen, these sort of things. So left-handed can opener and potato peeler. So, yeah, ah. it's much easier 
um, because obviously, as I said, using left using right handed goods is really hard on your hand. Uh, using ergonomic left handed goods is much easier, much more comfortable, less fatigue, and yeah, just easier to use. <laughs> but I also see on your website too, you've got gardening tools as well. Yes, I do. I was like, I've got I've got all these things ready to show you. I'm so um, left handed gardening tool. So that's the Japanese gardening tool there. And also uh, these, which are the pruners, so much easier to use. You just open them and yeah, I've always struggled with right handed pruners. I tend to um, put them around the branch or the, the twig and just yank. <laughs> Whereas this one, I can actually cut properly. <laughs> well, I am I am gobsmacked. I had no idea um, these sort of products actually even existed on the marketplace. I feel like I've, I've what's well, never too late though, is it? I'm, I'm definitely going to come in and buy those pens, or at least go on. I know you've got a decent website. So for those watching this uh, this evening, thinking, yes, that's me. I'm left-handed. Uh, you've got a great website. Give us those details and put them on our, our Facebook page as well. Okay, so it's www.eliteleft.com. And I am on social media, Facebook and Instagram as well. I'm happy for anyone to contact me as well if they've got any issues or if there's anything that they want that I don't particularly sell at the moment, I'm happy to try and find it for, for people. I've done that before. So, yeah, Good always on you. happy to hear from people. <laughs> Alison Harris, Director of Elite Left. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you.